Hi everyone, today we're going to be having a look at volumetric lighting in Blender 2.8 and Unity. Now I love volumetric lighting and I use it quite a lot in my work. One thing that I like doing is making blockouts in Blender and pre-visualizing my compositions before moving them over to Unity. Volumetric lighting provides us with this really nice effect and gives the atmosphere a greater sense of physicality. If I'm concepting a shot in Blender for a cinematic that I want to move over to Unity, something that's really useful is the ability to transfer the camera and lighting data across the programs to keep it consistent. Thankfully, the FBX format lets us do this. If I export all of the lights and cameras from my Blender scene, Unity will import them as child objects of the file, keeping all of the important information like light color and camera field of view. This makes it incredibly easy to transfer compositions. One thing to keep in mind though is that the default intensity values for the lights is usually way too high, at a value of around 500. I like to tone it down to somewhere between 3 to 6, because I feel like that's a better representation of the blender values. But now we're going to talk about the volumetric lighting solutions and how to set them up. In Blender 2.8, the EV physically based rendering engine supports volumetrics. To set this up, we need to tick volumetric in the render settings tab. Then in the world nodes, we need to add a volume scatter node and connect the output to the volume input of the world output node. From then on, any lights in the scene will interact with the world volume and give us nice volumetric effects. In Unity, there are a few solutions available to use. The volumetric system used in the Atom demo is available to download for free from GitHub. And Aura Volumetric Lighting is a very powerful solution that I have been using for most of my recent works, including the Building a Sci-Fi Corridor in Blender in Unity tutorial series I have recently put out. Let's take a look at how to set up Aura. You can download and import the package from the Assets Store, and once that's done, add the main component to the camera you want to use. These will provide you with your global settings. This component would be the equivalent of the world nodes in Blender. Unlike Blender, however, we need to attach a separate component to each of the lights that we want to provide us with volumetric effects. What these Aura light components do give us, however, is more stylistic control over the degree to which the light interacts with the volume. I don't believe that Blender 2.8 has light-specific settings like this yet, but maybe that will happen in the future. After some setup and playing around, we can get it looking quite close to our original composition. Of course, it's never going to look exactly the same, but we can get it looking quite nice. I recommend you have a look at the reveal teaser video for Aura because it outlines some of the extra functionality you can use. I am just constantly impressed by it and I'm probably going to be using it for quite a while. Of course I also recommend that you go and follow the creator for any news updates. Now what I'm going to do for the rest of the video is just sit down with my Spaceman model, which was actually a piece of client work done for a company called Robomoco. If you watch Captain Disillusion, you might have seen them briefly featured in the wall walking video. In the past, I did some software development for them, and over the past couple of years, I've been doing some artworks for their social media accounts. So what I'm going to do is see what kind of lighting setups I can get going using Eevee's volumetric lighting. Now, this spaceman would have textures on it, but unfortunately, they were lost in the great hard drive failure of September 2018. So I'll just leave a picture here of what they used to look like. May they rest in peace. So I'm just going to let this play out. I'm going to have fun improvising some lighting layouts and maybe it will give you some ideas for your own work. I will display all of the results at the end so we can have a better look at what we have made. With that being said, I'll see you at the end.
So these are the results of our improv session. I moved all of the lighting layouts to individual collections in case I want to use them again in the future. I tried to get a variety of colors, but I couldn't help throwing a blue slash purple one in there because that's my favorite part of the visible spectrum. Before we close this off, I just want to say thank you for the amazing response to the Sci-Fi Corridor series. I really wasn't expecting anything like that. Like everyone, I have some insecurities about my work, but this is the kind of stuff that I really enjoy making, so seeing people enjoying the content is very uplifting. Also, thank you to everyone that's been participating in the comments. I'm seeing more requests for future videos appearing. Everything you request is added to a list, and believe me, there's a lot of things I want to make. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. And I hope you stick around for the ride, because I have a feeling that it's going to be quite interesting.